Hey guys, welcome back to another episode where we're going to be working on the Eclipse. For today, what I'm going to try to do is uh, get the engine all together, at, at least, at the minimum. Um, there's not really much else that needs to be done. Uh, I just got to slap the oil pan on um, and then tighten up the intake manifold. And the exhaust manifold and the turbo are actually going to come off. Uh, while I'm putting the engine in because I don't want to scratch up the, the radiator support. Um, but uh, if I get that done, uh, I'm going to try to focus on getting this dashboard in this thing, uh, which means getting all the heater core and all that stuff in here, uh, the blower motor, all that stuff. Uh, get it in, get it connected. And uh, also I'm going to have to run a uh, thick positive wire to the alternator and the starter from the inside since the battery is going to be in the trunk. Um, but it, that's if I have time, so let's get rolling. All right, so what I'm gonna start off by doing is uh, removing the turbo and uh, probably gonna take off the intake manifold as well since uh, it's not really bolted in. I just kind of threw it on there just to see uh, what it would look like. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take the turbo off, the intake manifold off. Uh, then I'm gonna spin the motor over, uh, get the oil pan on. Um, and yeah, so uh, let's do this. Alright guys, so uh, I got all the bolts in, they're all tight. Um, the only issue I had was uh, this one bolt actually broke and uh, I, I really don't understand why. Uh, it was like the slightest torque on it and the head just snapped off so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and... I, I mean I know it's not cross sided or anything like that. So I'm going to get an extractor tool and just extract that one bolt uh, and get a new one for that. Um, but other than that, uh, all the bolts are in so uh, I'm gonna let that dry and uh, I'm actually gonna have to put on this uh, oil uh, filter housing that goes right over here on the side and, and uh, I think there's like a, a sender on it too that sends oil or whatever um, so yeah I'm gonna throw that on and then um, probably flip the engine upside down or flip the engine right side up and um, uh, maybe get the intake manifold on. Alright, 
All right, so I got the oil sender on there. Um, it, it's got the turbo feed line as well as uh, some lines for uh, oil cooler. Uh, I am gonna eventually run one, just not yet. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna replace that filter on there. I think it's brand new, but I'm not sure. So uh, I'm gonna buy a new filter for it eventually and uh, replace it. Um, and also uh, another thing that I'm missing for this thing is um, is the valve cover gasket. Um, I figured it had one, but now looking at the valve cover, uh, there's no gasket in there. So I'm gonna buy that as well before I throw that on. But uh, right now I'm just gonna turn the engine uh, back right side up and uh, start uh, installing the intake manifold. Right now, for the engine, um, it's pretty much done. The only thing left to do is the timing cover, which I might as well throw on uh, next. And then uh, I'm gonna have to get it off the stand. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to get it off the stand and put my uh, uh, flywheel on here, as well as the clutch, and then made it with the transmission. Um, and then it should be ready to go in, I think. Um, I don't think there's anything I'm forgetting. So yeah, uh, I think what I'm about to do is just put that timing cover on here. And uh, after that's done, uh, I'm probably going to pack up and go home for the day. Let's go.